In this video, you'll learn how to determine the equation for a line of best fit. In an example of, in front of you, I've drawn a very rough sketch of some data. And in that data has been put on the graph with a line of best fit drawn in the direction of the points through as many points as possible, as near as to the points as possible. And you can see that line of best fit here. The question is how to get the equation. Well, what we're going to need to do is pick two points on the line. So, for example, maybe we'll pick this point here, which is the point approximately 160, looks like about 162. And then we'll pick another point, can be anywhere, but farther away we'll probably get better results. So let's go maybe here, here's 190. We'll pick a point here, and it looks like it's 190, 190, so that's nice. Those are our two points. As always, this is our x-coordinate, this is our y-coordinate, this is point one and point two. So our first step is going to be to find the slope between those points. Well, slope is calculated by doing y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We're just going to subtract those values. So y2 is 190 minus y1. That's 162. I'm just doing y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If you need a calculator, you can always use one. Here I'll get 28, and on the bottom I get 30. It's 28 out of 30, and that's going to be our slope. We can leave it as a fraction, or we can convert it to a decimal if we want. You can always use a calculator too. 28 divided by 30 gives you about 0.93. So we'll put a rounding dot, approximately 0.93. Once we've got our slope, our next step is to calculate what the y-intercept is. So we'll start with the equation y equals mx plus b. And we know from our previous work what the m or slope is. It's 0 0.93, approximately. So we'll sub that in, and we've got the rest of our equation, and we want to solve for b. Well, all we need is one of the other points. We can pick either of these two points. We'll get the same answer. So I'll pick point two. Why not? And I get 190 equals 0.93 times 190 plus b. Now I'll use my calculator again and do 0.93 times 190. I'm trying to simplify that right-hand side. 0.93 times 190 gives me approximately 176.7. And so I'll add the B on at the end. And now, to get B by itself, all I have to do is subtract from both sides what's being added on to B. So in this case, subtract 176.7 from both sides. And when I do that, I'll ask my calculator just to be safe, 190 minus 176.7 equals, and it tells me 13.3. So b equals 13.3. And therefore, we've got our equation. The equation of the line of best fit is approximately y equals 0.93x plus 13.3. And we're done. We've determined the equation for the line of best fit shown in the graph.